Cameras roll at MCB News. We're with Derek Wynn, the uh, writer, director of The Potential Wives of Norman Mao. Right. Now, I'll tell you something. I came in, I went up, we were doing some of the red carpet stuff, and I went up to, uh, to the screenings, and I, unfortunately, I came in on the, the credits oh. for the movie. But I will tell you this. First of all, I'm going to go see it because everybody is talking about it. Everybody, I just interviewed several people before you. They were all saying this movie was great. This was a great film. Oh, that's really sweet. That's really great. Thank you so much. Um, and, uh, okay, so tell me a little bit about what it is about. Sure. Um, well, The Potential Wives of Norman Mao is a about this socially awkward man-child from Hong Kong. Uh, <laughs> that's cool. All right. Who, at the age of 33, is still a virgin and unwed. So, no, that's not me. That's not me. <laughs> so, um, freaking out, his um, parents take him on an international whirlwind tour of the world to try to find him a good Chinese wife. I got to see that. That's exactly, that is what my parents are doing. Oh, are they? I don't really. <laughs> Although my brother is dating a Chinese girl. Oh, okay. That's good for him. So, maybe it's about him. Maybe it is about him. Speaking of which, how did you come up with the idea? Well, <laughs> it's actually inspired by um, personal experience. I'm not a virgin, but uh, <laughs> thank you. Yes, uh, but uh, my uh, my stepmom used to try to set me up at family functions with all of these Asian women, and so um, I I just drew all that comedy from those situations, those very awkward situations, and um, put it into drama onto the screen and. Yeah, so it was. That's where I drew the inspiration. We're, I got So I, can I see this online? Um, not yet. Not okay. yet. But um, what one of the things that I, I, I can I I would love to tell you about is is that it's um, narrated by George Takei. I was going to ask you about that. So tell me about George. How you got him involved? And I he he pops up in the most. You're like I, what? There's just George Takei. Yes. Yes. He's he's hilarious yeah, and. He's hilarious. I, um, when I was writing it, I had his, his, his voice in my head. And um, I'm also a playwright, and um, I did a, a film called Monster, uh, I'm sorry, a play called Monster back in 2003, and um, he went to see it. And I was really honored, and he came up to me and said, that was a very interesting play, and um, you know, we ended up talking there, and when um, I was, doing this project, I reconnected with him and he read the script and really loved it and decided to be a part of it. That's awesome. Congrats yeah. on that. That's great. Yeah, he's, he's he, I, you know, you never know when you're going to expect. I open my gym locker. I'm like, what are you doing in there? George Takei's in my gym locker. <laughs> yeah. He's wherever you never expect him. Um, so now tell me about new filmmakers and how, you know, its importance in getting this film out there and where it's at now. Well, you know, one of the key things about new filmmakers like me, you know, um, we need a venue to actually have um, people see our work, not only see our work, but also in an environment like, you know, the Sunset Gallery Studios, you know. Great spot. Yeah, it's an amazing spot. The people here have been extremely supportive, and um, it's, it's, it's really difficult to be an independent filmmaker, and, and it's great to see that it's culminated in, in an event like this. We're just so proud to be here, and uh, we really appreciate all your, your support, you know? Great. Okay, uh, real quick, what's next for this film? Like, where do you see it down the road? Are you doing maybe a feature version? It's not going to be a feature. Um, I actually have written two feature projects that I'm going out with um, next, but um, it's going the festival circuit. Um, it started actually at Cannes. It was actually a part of the um, short um, film corner at, uh, at the Cannes Film Market. So we were really lucky to be a part of that. And, you know, it's going to, to D.C., you know, all of the uh, um, St. Louis. And Louis, St. Louis, St. Louis, uh, and uh, Boston. So it's going all over the place. Oh, really? That's my hometown, Boston. That's the best spot you're, you're going to. Oh, I, I, I definitely agree. I definitely agree. Well, thank you. All right, well, listen, thanks for your time. Good luck tonight, and congrats on being here. Thanks, and uh, we'll see you in a few. I'm Jonathan Novak, MCB News.